Use code MATCASTER for 5% off your order from Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada wide. Use our code anytime you shop at Face to Face Games to support the show and get the cards you need at a discount. Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers and Happy Monday. Today is December 19th, 2022, and before I jump into things here, I wanted to let you guys know about my affiliate links in the description. I do have a Dragon Shield affiliate link as well as a TCG Player affiliate link, and any purchase that you make using those links, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. Talking about supporting the channel, here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you all very much. Now, with that being said, let's get moving. Starting our losers list off here today with Enlightened Tutor from Mirage. This card is down 5.20% from $41.34 to $39.19 for its market price, and its average price is $42.80. The next loser we have on our list today is Force of Vigor from Modern Horizons. This card is down 5.22% from $26.03 to $24.67 for its market price, and its average price is $30.15. The next loser we have on our loser section is Flusterstorm, and this is the buy a box promo from Modern Horizons, down 5.22% from $27.56 to $26.12 for its market price, and its average price is $27.64. Next loser is Ranger, Captain of Eos from Modern Horizons, down 5.30% from $20.18 to $19.11 for its market price, and its average price is $21.09. The next loser on our list is Mana Vault from Double Masters 2022, down 5.33% from $41.66 to $39.44 for its market price, and its average price is $44.99. The next loser here on our list is Sword of Feast and Famine from Mirrored and Besieged. This mythic is down 5.33% from $52.36 to $49.57 for its market price, and its average price is $53.96. Phyrexian Altar from Double Masters 2022 down 5.34% from $26.76 to $25.33 for its market price, and its average price is $29.99. Our final loser is Zerlin of the Claw from Mirage. This is also a reserve list card, down 5.37% from $19.75 to $18.69 for its market price, and its average price is $19.99. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Lita, Mechanical Engineer from Jumpstart 2022, and this is one of the exclusive cards that you can only get in Jumpstart 2022. It's up 7.05% from $21.41 to $22.92 for its market price, and its average price is $25.34. And the next card on our winner's list today is Sarah Ascendant, and this is the Magic 2011 version of the card, which is the original printing. It's up 6.95% from $23.18 to $24.79 for its market price, and its average price is $25.42. Now, this card did have a few reprints, like the Iconic Masters version of the card, currently sitting at $24.93 for its market price, and its average price is $25. And this card did see a bit of modern play in Soul Sisters decks, it was a bit of an obscure tier 2 deck that I played sometimes. But right now it sees most of its play in the commander format and decks like Liesa Shroud of Dusk, Aloro Ageless Ascetic, and also Rodolph Duskbringer. Next up on the winner's list is Grand Abolisher from Magic 2012. This card is up 7.98% from $26.43 to $28.54 for its market price, and its average price is $28.40. This card did see a few reprints, like the Commander 2014 version of this card, currently sitting at $27.87 for its market price, and its average price is $28. This card saw another reprint in Arc Enemy Nicol Bolas. That version of the card is sitting at $26.92 for its market price, and its average price is $29.07. This card does see some Commander play, but it's also seeing play in the Legacy format and Bomberman decks, as well as Cephalid Breakfast. 
And we've got Darksteel Forge from the original Darksteel set. This card is up 8.03% from $22.78 to $24.61 for its market price, and its average price is $34.34. This card had a few reprints. The first one I'm going to talk about is Magic 2014's Mythic version, sitting at $24.67 for its market price, and its average price is $30.69. Another version of the card is from Plain Chase, currently sitting at $20.94 for its market price, and its average price is $29.99. And the Double Masters version of this card, currently sitting at $30.62 for its market price, and its average price is $30.44. And it would make sense that a card like this would go up around Brothers War. It's a card that makes all of your artifacts indestructible. Next up on the winner's list is Grief from Modern Horizons 2. This mythic is up 8.32% from $13.34 to $14.45 for its market price, and its average price is $15. There was another version of this card released in the same set with different artwork, and that was the borderless version of this card. It is a lot more expensive, currently sitting at $18.41 for its market price, and its average price is $22.06. This card is seeing a ton of modern play in decks like Rakdos Midrange, Grixis Midrange. It's seeing play in the Legacy format and Reanimator decks, as well as Doomsday and Ad Nauseam Tendrils. It's seeing vintage play in Blue Tinker decks, as well as Dredge and Oops All Spells. This card has heavy demand in a lot of formats, which is driving the price up. Next up on our winners list today is Goblin Welder from Commander Anthology Volume 2. This card is up 8.53% from $15.01 to $16.29 for its market price, and its average price is $13.75. The original printing of this Goblin came out in Urza's Legacy, and that version of the card is currently sitting at $18.28 for its market price, and its average price is $20.24. The Judge promo version of this card with the same artwork is currently sitting at $59.67 for its market price, and its average price is $59.78. This card is seeing a ton of commander play, but it's also seeing play in the Legacy format in Painter decks, Boro Stoneblade, Four Color Stacks decks, and also in the Vintage format in Blue Tinker decks. The next card on our list is another artifact, and that card is Vanquisher's Banner from Ixalan. This card is up 8.88% from $12.73 to $13.86 for its market price, and its average price is $11.87. Now this card did see one reprint, and that was from Time Spiral Remastered with the Retro Frame. That version of the card is currently sitting at $12.99 for its market price, and its average price is $12.59. And the next winner on our list today is another card from Jumpstart 2022, another exclusive card from Jumpstart 2022, Rodolph Duskbringer. This rare is up 12.36% from $18.61 to $20.91 for its market price, and its average price is $26.99. And our final winner of the day is the Might Stone and Weak Stone from the Brothers War. And this rare artifact is up 19.58% from $5.26 to $6.29 for its market price, and its average price is $4.99. And you have to meld this card with Urza Lord Protector in order to create the Urza Planeswalker card, which is also one of the reasons why this card is going up in price. It is seeing a lot of Pioneer play right now in Nykthos Ramp decks, as well as Vintage play in Paradoxical Outcome decks and Prison Shops. It's also seen Commander play in decks like Urza Lord Protector, Urza Chief Artificer, Urza Prince of Krug, and also Brea Ethereum Shaper decks. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Imp's Mischief from Planner Chaos. This foil is up 7.67% from $99.98 to $107.65 for its foil market price, and its average price is $74.88. Protogenesis from Modern Masters. This foil is up 8.06% from $29.41 to $31.78 for its foil market price, and its average price is $19.83. Next foil is Karthus, Tyrant of Jun from Alara Reborn. This foil is up 8.63% from $39.40 to $42.80 for its foil market price, and its average price is $26.97. 
The next foil is the Guardian Savior from Innistrad Double Feature. This foil is up 13.15% from $43.05 to $48.71 for its foil market price, and its average price is $36. Next foil is Lanoir Elves from 9th edition. This foil is up 13.26% from $7.92 to $8.97 for its foil market price, and its average price is $8.96. Next up on the list is Evacuation from 9th edition. This foil is up 25.36% from $31.47 to $39.45 for its foil market price, and its average price is $32.55. Our final foil winner of the day is Drownu Lichlord from Time Spiral. This foil is up 26.08% from $3.95 to $4.98 for its foil market price, and its average price is $5.19. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering. Market movers, it really, really means a lot to me. And if you could, could you hit the like button so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm so I can continue to grow on this platform? Obviously, all the likes and comments that you guys have been leaving have really helped grow my channel, and I'm forever grateful for that. Also, let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite mover of the day, which cards were you most surprised to see on the list, and which cards do you actually own that showed up on the list today. I do read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below for me to read. Also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers, and until then, please enjoy the rest of your day. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.